Leicester Tigers against Saracens. Three penalty tries, two from scrums. I mean, you just don't expect that from the Tigers. You've been looking at, uh, at what happened, casting your expert eye over it. <laughs> Where did Tigers go wrong? Because you don't expect to see them bullied the way they were. No, you don't. But the, the, let's, let's give Saracens a big pat on the back here. This is a team, team that is, and a, a group of forwards that is rotated, but they've, they've got a culture, if you like, a forward culture. And the two big things that stick out for me is the one that united. You know, they like the scrimmage for a long time. Their body position and profile is very, very good. And they're technically a bit cute. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a front row player, as we know, but, you know, we've had a look at this. And if you, put, if you have a look at the video now, you can see from the first scrum, this is the first, first penalty try. You've got Duplessis here. Well, just as, as they engage, he just goes slightly across the hole, which puts some pressure under a, a relatively small hooker in Thacker, and that split between your loose head and your, and, your, and your hooker just provides the angle for that scrum of eight Saracens players against five, four or five Leicester players, and all of a sudden it's a, it's a non-contest. Going back to the other point now, if, as we look at this next clip, this, this is a perfect example. As, as the ball goes in, you just see the Saracens pack dip slightly. And if we just pause it there, because look at the profile of that Saracens pack. It's all in line. They're in a good, good pushing position. All their feet are on the floor. You're looking at in it in, in reverse then on the lesser side. You've got props with um, hips below shoulders. You've got second rows with hips below, uh, hips above, show, uh, hips below shoulders, sorry, you've got, you've got an eight with one foot on the ground, you've got uh, an open side pushing at an angle, and as you play the clip on, there's no way of stopping that Saracens pack now. Dan Cole roll, rolls down and in because he doesn't want to be pushed over. You've got a back row that's not pushing and engaged, and the referee's left in, in, in no uncertain terms now. That's, that's a clear-cut penalty. And the problem you've got when, when that happens, and we talked about earlier, how do you change a referee's perception when, when that's happening? In all facets of the game now, Saracens have got the upper hand. OK, we've got our guys from, uh, from the Edinburgh Medics. Let's have a look and see what uh, we can explain using them. But let's have a look at this quote from Richard Cockrell, because questions were asked about the selection that he made. This is what he said. We chose to pick the side we picked, and we backed that decision. I'm not going to make any excuses. So he starts with, uh, with Balmain, Ayurta and Harry Thacker. And maybe we're not picking on Harry Thacker, but he said that he's a small guy. How does that affect things? This is, our, this is our Leicester front row. This is our Saracens pack. So let's just have the front rows down at the moment um, and just explain how you attack uh, maybe a weaker scrummager. Yeah, what we're trying to do is trying to break this bind here and widen these hips. That means the second row then has got to, he's got to make a decision. He either stays with his, with his loose head or he has to stick with his hooker. With, with uh, Duplessis, who's got in, on the engagement, he's just changed his body angle slightly, which means he's just going off his right foot, which widens this off. And it's very difficult for, a, for, a, for any hooker, let alone a smaller hooker, to keep him out of that hole, if you like. And once that's done, it becomes a non-contest because all of a sudden we've got all Scott spines in line. We've got eight guys all united, putting on a lot of pressure for a long, long time against a very disjointed Leicester scrum. And this is where that profile comes in. Okay, stand up, guys. We'll let the uh, the rest of the pack get in behind you. And what we're talking about profile is actually the shape of the scrum. Yeah. If you look, what, what we want to do if we just engage slightly further, gently, fellas. So, okay. So we can see the picture here. This is how it should be done. Um, maybe not quite. The athletic pose there on, <laughs> oh, on the medic's loose head. But I, I don't fancy him going backwards. Mike. Well, he isn't going anywhere. He's not is going he? anywhere. He, That's he, a cornerstone of your pack right absolutely. there. But um, no, what we're after is a good profile. So essentially, in its feet shoulder width apart, it's almost like a squat position horizontally. So we can see here from 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 the Saracens pack, they're all. It's a perfect straight line. So that means all the force generated from the back through the front is all going in the same direction. It's united. As the ball comes in, all these feet are on the ground, and you'll just see a little dip and they'll little dip and they'll go and that because it's 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 united it's disciplined it's very very disciplined the timing is perfect unless the pack you're playing against has got exactly the same discipline and the same and is technically as good a slightly smaller Saracens pack can do we've seen the damage they can do and Saracens because of that they like to keep a long scrum they like to hold it for a long long time great stuff fellas you can stand up congratulations to him I think so. who's studying coronary disease and attacks <laughs> go and have a word with him I think he's, he's about to have something